हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर तुषार गुजराती फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर यवला वील डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक एनालॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्जन लेट स्टार्ट विथ दिस टॉपिक सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ डज एनालॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्जन वर्क दैट इज ए डी सी ओके सो इन द डायग्राम ए डी सी इज शोन ओवर इयर विथ ए येलो ब्लॉक सो इट्स पर्पज इज टू कन्वर्ट एनालॉग सिग्नल इन टू डिजिटल फॉर्म सो डिजिटल फॉर्म मीन्स वॉट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बाइनरी नंबर्स दैट इज वन जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो जीरो इट मे बी थ्री बिट वर्ड फोर बिट वर्ड और एट बिट वर्ड टेन बिट वर्ड ओके सो यू टू कन्वर्ट एनॉक सिग्नल इन टू डिजिटल फॉर्म सो देर इज वन माइक्रोफोन इज शोन ओके सो दिस माइक्रोफोन रिसीव्स साउंड योज ओके एंड कन्वर्ट्स द साउंड योज इन टू एनॉक फॉर्म एंड द एनॉक सिग्नल इज ट्रांसमिटेड थ्रू थ्रू दिस वायर टू दिस एनॉक टू डिजिटल कन्वर्टर and this analog digital converter converts each analog signal into the respective digital form so suppose this is 1010 it's one form 010 is another form so like this each analog signal is converted into digital numbers okay so this is called as analog to digital conversion so here one example is shown so what is shown here there is one water tank is there water tank had some height from 0 feet to up to 40 feet okay so to measure that height there is level measurement is shown with the help of level transmitter and that level transmitter gives analog signal to that an analog to digital converter and that converter converts 10 bit output okay so here this is water tank and here it is level transmitter then analog to digital converter and we get 10 bit output okay so like this analog to digital conversion conversion takes place now this is 10 bit word if you take 10 bit words then total number of states will be 1024 states okay how it is possible so there is one formula 2 raised to n so n means number of bits so if you take 2 raised to 10 then you will get total number of states 1024 okay so whatever total height is there 40 feet so that 40 feet height will be divided into 1024 numbers okay so each binary output or digital output will have some value okay so that 40 will be divided into 1024 okay and like this small small number of steps will be there so this first step will be related to zero feet of water second step will be related to 0.039101 feet of water like this we'll get binary numbers and last binary number will correspond to 40 feet of water level okay so like this each binary output will have some equivalent measurement of water tank height okay so like this we can use analog to digital converter for measurement of water level okay so analog to digital conversion is two step process one is quantization and second one is coding so what is quantization transformation of a continuous analog input into a set of data represented by discrete output states so in the diagram there is one continuous analog input signal is shown over here which is very faint one but that is continuous analog input now this continuous analog input we have to divide it into discrete output steps okay so you can see there is square waveform is shown so that is called as discrete output states okay means that analog input signal is divided into small small number of steps okay output states and coding means what assignment of digital code word to each output state so there are many output states there suppose this output state we have to assign some code for this output set we have to assign some code we have to assign some code so like this for each output set we have to assign some digital code okay so like this they, it is two step process analog to digital conversion now what is quantization the analog quantization size q is defined as the full scale range of the adc divided by number of output states so here 
quantization size means in how many steps we have to divide that is with the lab formula we can check v max minus v min minimum divided by 2 raised to n where n is bit of adc and v max minus v min is the range of adc okay this is the formula required for determining resolution of quantization or determination of quantization size okay so there is one uh, famous register is available it is called as successive approximation register which converts analog form into digital form okay so you can check here so it consists of one comparator is there okay comparator compares two signals okay so one signal is from this v input this is called as v input signal and one signal from this dac okay digital to analog converter so comparator compares these two signals and takes action and that action is given to this sar it is called as successive approximation register in it automatically takes actions and give us gives us output okay so here steps are given we can check the steps so what is first step the sar is initialized so that msb is equal to 1 okay so there are two things msb and lsb so here it is msb and here it is lsb so the sar is initialized so that msb is equal to 1 so m will be equal to 1 this code is fed into the dsc this code is fed into the dsc so dsc will receive that code which then supplies the analog equivalent of this digital code into the comparator so dsc means digital to analog conversion so analog signal is given to this comparator now and comparator compares both the signals this dsc signal and this v input signal okay now if this analog voltage exceeds v input the comparator causes the sar to reset this bit otherwise this bit is left as one okay so there is one condition if this input voltage exceeds sorry if this analog voltage this analog voltage exceeds this v input then what happens comparator causes the sar to reset this bit so sar resets this bit or otherwise this bit is left as one okay so there is one condition if this analog signal is greater than v input what will happen at the time this m msb will reset to zero okay or otherwise it will be left as a one okay this is the condition then the next bit is set to one and the same test is done continuing this every bit in the sar has been tested okay so this is the procedure and the resulting code is the digital approximation of the sample input voltage okay so like these steps are there we'll see this with the help of example so there is one flow chart is given flow chart is like this start then we have to clear all the bits and start at msb set bit equal to 1 msb we have to set equal to 1 if dac voltage is greater than vs there is one question is there if answer is yes then clear bit back to zero we have to clear that bit back to zero if answer is no then we have to again question have all bits been checked okay if answer is no go to next lower bit then we have to go to next lower bit if answer is yes then conversion finished number in the register and that will be our final answer okay so like this flow chart is there so we'll check it with the help of example so question is for a 10 bit adc with a v reference of 1 volt find the digital equivalent of v input of 0.06 so what will be the answer for 0.6 input voltage okay this is the our question so now we have to take first of all v is equal to v reference equal to 2 okay so compare v with v input if v input is greater than v then turn msb equal to 1 if v input is less than v then turn msb equal to 1 okay so our v input is 0.6 volt okay and v is 0.5 we have taken from this formula v is equal to v reference by 2 so v reference is 
divided by sorry v reference is 1 that's why 1 divided by 2 it is 0 0.5 so we are going to compare this here as v input is greater than that's why we have to turn msb equal to 1 so we have to turn msb as 1 okay this is our first step what is our rule when v input is greater than v turn msb as 1 okay so we have to turn msb as 1 okay this is our first case now next we have to go for next bit okay so we have to calculate v v will be calculated with the help of this formula v is equal to v by 2 plus v by 4 okay for next bit v is equal to v by 2 plus v by 4 so v is actually 1 okay it is given so that's why our v is for this case 0 0.75 volts so now compare again so now you can check 0 0.6 is less than 0 0.75 input is less than 0 0.75 that's why condition is msb 1 is turn off that is 0 okay so now we have turned off this and it is 0 now second bit is 0 now similarly we have to go for next bit for next bit the formula is v by 2 plus v by 8 okay and that the value is 0 0.625 now again compare this so as it is less than 0 0.625 that's why we have to turn off that is where to make it is 0 so that's why next bit is 0 okay if less than then we have to take 0 if greater than we have to take 1 okay now similarly continue for next bit so for next bit formula is v reference divided by 2 plus v reference divided by 16 so answer is 0 0.5625 okay so now this is condition is greater here okay so next msb is turn on that is it is 1 so next msb is here 1 okay so condition is greater than that's why we have to take msb as 1 so like this we have to continue the process so if you continue for all the bits then we'll get answer for this input our answer is like this okay 1001 100 this is our final answer now we have to find out output voltage okay for that purpose formula is like this v output is equal to v reference into b9 into 1 by 2 b8 into 1 by 4 b7 into 1 by 8 b6 into 1 by 6 as it is 10 bit word so we are starting from b0 okay that's why our final value is b9 over here okay and you can check in this formula you can check here it is 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 8 it is increasing in the series of 2 okay 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 3 2 raised to 4 2 raised to 5 up to 2 raised to 10 okay this is the formula and it is easy to remember okay now we have to put here values okay in the same sequence whatever it is given here we have to put all the values of b9 to up to b0 okay and we'll get the answer as we output it 0.5995 volts so this is the conversion of answer we output it 0.5995 volts okay so like this we can convert analog to digital form so thank you so much all of you for watching this video thank you so much